Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to the Scream Scene. I'm Jody Dean. Uh, today, I got a, a, a nice young filmmaker, young gentleman with me, Andrew Graziosa. Uh, man, I, I just was checking out this guy last week. I hit him up, and, and he's a really cool dude, very accessible. I was like, yo, let's do the pod. So we got him here today. Andrew, what's going on, bud? Nothing much. How about you? Doing pretty good, man. Uh, you been pretty busy lately? Oh, extremely. Yeah. What what kind of stuff? Uh, what kind of stuff's going on in your world right now, man? What are you working on? So, just yesterday, I had finished producing another short film for uh, a filmmaker on Long Island. Um, it was a five day shoot. Uh, we've been doing pre production for almost two months, so we we wrapped on that, and I'm jumping right into the next one, which is something that I'm going to be writing and directing. It's called Viral. Ooh, and, and we got to hope that it goes viral. That's the that's the <laughs> that's the main thing here. Okay, yeah. so all right, let's back up real quick, man. Where, where are you from? What got you into filmmaking, acting, and, and everything that you're doing now? So I'm from Long Island. Um, I grew up in Valley Stream. I've been here my whole life. Um, I started acting at a young age, uh, just doing small things with friends. I never really went to a formal acting school. <laughs> Um, I started getting more acting training when I got to college. Um, but I fell in love with horror when I was like six or seven years old. Um, my father showed me the first Halloween from 1978 and, uh, I fell in love from there. I always loved to write and I put all of that together and that's how I ended up where I am now. That's, that's gnarly. I love to hear that, man. I, I, uh, I love to hear that people fall in love with it at a young age that's what happened to me with the mom and pop vhs stores and just seeing all the very graphic monsterish uh pictures and everything i would just stand there and geek out forever to the point where somebody would usually say are you okay is there something wrong do we need to get somebody like no i'm just this is really cool leave me alone um so you fell in love with horror at a, at a young age so when you started writing is that what you started writing or did you did you try something else at first? Yeah, so I started writing like short horror scripts when I was in middle school, high school. Um, and then I, wow. I had written one going into freshman year of college and that ended up being the first film that I was uh, I directed. I, I did that back in 2021. We shot it up in uh, Croton on Hudson and it ended up winning Best Director um best screenplay best cinematography at a bunch of different festivals throughout the country and overseas as well wow okay and have you as a majority of what you've done so far been shorts or have you done a quite a bit of work in features as well so i've worked on feature films um, but i've as of yet only directed shorts so what about you, man? Um, is there a feature in the works, something you're trying to get off the ground, something that, that's in the works of getting off the ground, or is there something that's just sitting on the back burner where you're like, this is a this is a monster. I want to wait till everything's right till I till I touch this. So there's there's two actually. Um there's viral, which we're doing the short film for. It's gonna act as a proof of concept for the feature that's uh just about finished uh the script. And there's also the adaptation, feature adaptation of Gateway Eyes, which was my first short, which is going to be titled Gallows Hill. Mm, okay. So I've, I've heard you mention directing quite a few times here. Is is that where your strong suit is? Is that your is that your is that your power tool, or is there something? What kind of stuff do you have in the bag, man? Do you like? Do you break them all out at some point, or is that like one of the ones where it's like? Yo, Andrew's directing this. Yeah. So I love to direct. Um, I love to produce and I love to write. Those are, I'd say, like the biggest three for me. Um, I love to act as well, but I, I think if I were to lay it out, then producing, writing, and directing is definitely top three. It seems like um, you, because I see that you're intertwined with other people I've interviewed, and it seems like there's this pocket of writers directors and producers and everything in every aspect of film just sitting there in the area that you're in and close to that area it's like you got staten you got you got jersey all these people are scattered over that pocket of the northeast you know corner up there um i'm constantly talking to people and it seems like i will see a picture 
of you with one of them. And then one of them was somebody else I interviewed. And I'm like, how do all these people like know each other? This is weird. It's cool. Weirdly cool. It's an awesome community. Um, and I, I, I'm really happy that I was able to meet all the people that I did over the past couple of years. So I will say that. If you got to stick your uh, finger in the Terrifier Sugar Bowl, have you worked any kind of part behind the scenes uh, with that whole deal? Or are you just intertwined with people that are? You know, so I was happen? a production assistant on Terrifier 3. Oh, okay. Well, that's a nice credit to get. Yeah, that was a great experience. I've been telling everybody that was the best set that I've ever worked on. Uh, genuinely feels like a family. So that was that was a great, great time. I imagine it was uh, whenever I was talking to Phil and I interviewed Phil, he was saying that like production wise and money wise, this was the biggest thing that they had done yet. And they even shot that thing on film and that just blew my mind. I was just like, whoa, you know, like that's cool. I respect that. I love the way that looks, but it, I, I guess I was just shocked because they didn't need to do it. It was just one of those things where it's what I want. And I'm like, that's, that's a beautiful that's beautiful when you can get to a point where you could say like, I want that. So that's going to happen. Like I basically asked Phil, I said, could you make the same movie with less money? And he said, if we had more time, but the problem is, is when you set deadlines and mm -hmm. that's what you kind of have to do, right? Like when you're on fire in the film business, it seems like you have to set a deadline and say, Hey, listen, fans, stop asking. Here's when it's coming. But now it's like, boom, you shot yourself <laughs> in the foot. Um, you've got to make that happen. And, and that was a beast of a pro uh, production. So are you there beginning to, to the end? So I came on halfway through uh, as soon as production moved closer to where I am. Um, so I was out there with them for, I'd say probably the last quarter of production. Okay. So you got, you got your, you got your feet in on the project for they they, they yelled cut. Um, awesome, man. So when it comes to, working with that community there do you guys you lean on each other a lot do you reach out to each other is it one of those things to where it's like hey i know so and so let's get him in on this because i see that all over the world i don't see that where i'm at where i'm at it's dry as can be it's bone dry so i, I kind of have to live through you guys seeing like this whole nice thing of a community um but i love that man so like what's that experience like so I, I actually just connected with a lot of these guys recently. Um, <clears throat> I know that all of them are very, very close, and it's it's really nice to see. Um, and I would love to work with them more. Um, I, I'd love for them to you know work with me on my projects, and I'd love to help them out whenever they do need it. Um, not sure how much else I could say about that, but um, yeah, but yeah, that's well, it's a nice thing, like outside looking in. Um you know, like it, it just throughout a week, like I will see how close that particular team is. And, and, and now that I've, I've almost interviewed everybody in that circle and it never was intentional. It was like, I didn't even know that everybody was so intertwined. And then as I would follow another person, another person, I'm like, wow, you guys all know each other. And it's such a nice pocket, man. Um, especially since they're doing big things and it's, you know, it's a lot of people in like the film business, they don't want to let certain people in or certain people help. They want to keep you at a distance. That team's not like that. Like it's like everybody's so accessible, dude, and so cool and, and welcoming and and inviting. Um, I think the reason that's so noticeable is because it's indie film that's doing major numbers, if that makes yeah. sense. You know, because a lot of indie people, you we don't see it because you know, the biggest problem is a filmmaker. Tell me if you agree and if you could elaborate on it is we make projects that don't get seen enough. Yeah, I agree with that 100%. That's a that's a sad thing, man. I mean, um, most of the people I've ever known who are filmmakers, they spend all this time making projects. And the number one thing is, is it's either not getting seen or it gets to a point to where you almost have to give it away for it to be seen. And that sucks because then it's like, you know, you have to be a um, you have to be somewhat of a studio that's making money to keep doing your craft, or else you're always in that pocket of asking people to fund your projects, right? Yeah. So, how is with short films? Is it a little bit easier? Um, I, I'm sure it is. Uh, production wise, money wise, is it easier to do shorts? Do you find them as effective? 
I find it interesting, especially, I mean, financially, I've funded the last two shorts that I've done completely out of pocket. Um, so in terms of, you know, going out and getting investors involved, I don't really have too much experience. Um, but it, it's definitely, you know, it, it's, I'd assume a much easier process, just given the fact that you're working for a shorter amount of time on a much tighter budget. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I'd love to see the step up between working on a short and working on a feature. Um, you know, hopefully within the next year or two, I could get the the projects that I'm working on off the off the ground and, and see where they go. Yeah. Well, one thing I I, I, I love about what you are doing and your process to it, at least, you know, I'm just getting to know you, but I, I checked you out a little bit and, and now talking to you is um, the work that you're putting in with these shorts. I, I did that too in my twenties and I, I did a lot of shorts, a lot of pitch trailer. I call them pitch trailers. And anytime I say that to somebody, they're like, what the hell is a pitch trailer? And I'm like, well, it's like a sizzle reel, but it's like, if I know an investor and I'm asking him for money, I can bring him a pitch trailer and say, this is an idea of what something could be. Mind you, this is watered down. We threw this together to have something to show you. Yeah. Um, but all that work, man, like I would say that when you finally get to a feature, like, do you feel like you're ready to start nailing out the features now is like that moment coming to where you're like, okay, I think I can take it on comfortably. Yeah, definitely. Especially with, with viral coming up and everything, having that, that scripts, near finished i definitely feel like it's it's time i'm ready to start to start working on that what's been some of the hardest obstacles making films that you you've you've faced finding the right crew um you know being able to find people who see your vision wholeheartedly and and you know are, are willing to work through it until it's it's complete in the best possible way um and i think that the cinematographer and everybody that I just was able to connect with for viral is a really great group of people. So I'm really looking forward to see where this goes. Are they, um, are they pretty stoked? Like, do, does it seem like your guys' energy was good enough to where like, they're like, yo, we got to do something else. Or are they eager to, to link back up and do something else? Do you think like, if you approach like a feature, this might be the team? Yeah, they've uh, they've been talking to me about it a lot recently. Uh, just this morning, we we had a, a meeting to go over some storyboards, and we were already talking about putting the team together and keeping them on for the feature. That's pretty cool, man. So so viral. Is there anything you can tell us about it so that people can be jacked? Anybody that hears this that wants to, you know, start searching this film up here. I guess in what in the next few months. Yeah. So camera for the short. Um, there's actually two shorts that we're doing. We're going to be filming them back to back. Um, mm -hmm. We are hoping to get a festival run going by January uh, for the two of those. Uh, so camera will be up before the end of the year. We're looking between August and October. Um, I don't know how much I want to say plot wise, but I can yeah. say that all announcements, um, any type of information is going to be put out on my Instagram um, over the next couple of weeks. Okay. So that's for viral, but viral is a horror film. Yes. Slasher. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. All right. Cause you hear viral and I'm thinking somebody's getting sick, um, but, <laughs> but it sounds like, okay, so we got a slasher here. It's called viral. So don't let that mislead you. Let that guide you to the truth, my friends. Um, well, that's nice, man. Uh, are you involved in any other aspects besides the writing and directing? Like, do you ever jump behind the camera? Do you edit any at all? So I, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't edit. Um, and it's really just producing and directing. Uh, you know, I, I I have worked on a numerous amount of projects as a production assistant, but outside of those, it's really just uh, producing, directing, writing, and acting. Right on. And um, at, out of curiosity, uh, the the team that you just worked with have they? have they been doing stuff like features and stuff like that? I'm trying to see, man, like, you know, I'm pretty excited. I hear about this viral thing and you said you had a good experience and I know how hard that is to find the right team. So this could be like the last time we talk to you and you're in the short film, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
this time next year, bro, it's like, well, I got this feature film coming out now, and it's called Viral, and it's about this slasher. He's going to cut your fucking head off. And <laughs> so I kind of feel like that's, that's I don't know. I got a vibe, bro. Is that coming? I, I believe it is, yeah. I think the, the cinematographer that, that I'm working with, he keeps talking to me about how excited he is for it. You know, we just the way that we bounce all the ideas off of each other, we're very much on the same the same plane and and he definitely sees what it is that i'm going for so i have a lot of confidence that this is going to come out exactly how we want it to that's good and you did you say you you went to school for this stuff or you yeah so i went to uh adelphi university uh in garden city long island um and i did a major in communications specifically for film production wow um okay and then i had a minor in acting I have heard so many mixed stories from people that went to school for filmmaking. I've heard people say it was the best thing I ever did. I've heard people say it really didn't make a difference. I learned through trial and error better than anything. Yes, um, definitely do, that. I was going to say, do you feel like this school, the schooling was a benefit or was it really like a validation? You know what I'm saying? Like, um, like a, you, you have something to show somebody, like if you're trying to produce uh, pursue filming as a career, right? Yeah, I think I definitely learned a lot more just actively being on set, you know, directing Gateway Eyes, uh, Dissociation, uh, and all the other productions that I've been on. But I'm still happy I was able to get the experience of going to college and getting yeah. just that kind of exposure. Um, even if, like I said, I did feel like I learned more outside of school. Right. Yeah, and, and and that's the same response I I, I hear ninety percent of the the time. But it it is very interesting. I was very close to going to school for it, and and I just I just stopped going to school altogether. Um, <laughs> well, so acting man, are you in viral? Ooh, I will you be in a, say, uh, do you? <laughs> I will I will have a very very small piece. Uh, okay. Um. I'm I'm definitely far from the type of person to write something and make himself the lead, but um, right. I, I I do have a, a small cameo that I've I've been piecing together and we'll, we'll see how that goes. That's cool, man. So uh, just real quick, how old are you? Twenty two. Twenty two years old. So you've already done the school thing. You've already worked on some sets. You've you've you've, you've won some awards. Um, you're on your way, man. The, this is just the beginning. This is, this is big stuff. It's exciting, man. I can't wait to see what happens for you and where you go from here. I appreciate that. Thank you. Absolutely, man. We'll stay on here for a second. Guys, listen, go down the rabbit hole on this gentleman right here. Look him up. He's on Instagram. That's where I found him. He was just, he was just chilling like a polar bear over there. I found him and, and we linked up and we're here today, but he's got some good stuff to come. Got a good head on his shoulders. Uh, so, so go check him out. I post every week here on the screen scene, like comment, subscribe and all that good stuff. Make sure your notifications are on, but until next time, sweet nightmares. All right.